guys welcome to my channel if you are watching me for the first time click the subscribe button and nearby bell icon to get the notification so we will get started today we are going to make some hyderabadi vegetable biryani a spicy biryani to get started to my motland festival i'm going to crush some cloves cardamom or elachi and few cinnamon sticks the detailed recipe is in my blog i will put the link in the description box so check it out and finally i have added the cinnamon sticks now i am going to crush it to release the aroma and flavor it will give a nice aroma to our biryani okay so crush it as much as possible it will take few minutes so once it's crushed well we will keep this aside and we have to make a paste our onion paste it's done now i'm going to set this aside and we will make the paste okay so for making the paste to the blender i'm adding a small piece of ginger a few cloves of garlic some green chilies for the spiciness also we need to add the red chili powder too while making biryani this is for the paste this is the onion paste so i have chopped the green chilies and added to the jar or blender now i am going to chop a medium size roughly chopping the onion this is medium size onion now we will cover this and we will blend this until it become a fine paste so once it's done we need to preheat a pan i'm using a non stick pan so the paste is ready as i told you before i have preheated a pan i'm using a non stick one with some cooking oil i'm using the vegetable oil once the oil heat up we will add the paste that we grind earlier now we need to get rid of the rosemary so in between i am going to add a bay leaf i'm just tearing the bay leaf roughly along with that we will saute the paste so adding the bay leaf saute this for few seconds after that we will add the spices that we crushed earlier now i'm adding the spices that we crushed earlier we have some cloves cinnamon sticks elachi or cardamom that's what we added now it will give a nice aroma to our biryani so once it uh, mixed well we will add a handful of cashews if you like kismis or raisins you can add that so add the cashews if you like you can add the raisins as i told you earlier now saute it until it become light brown color once it's ready we will add the spices i have pre cooked the vegetables and rice here i'm using long grain rice that's basmati rice i pre cooked the vegetables with some turmeric powder and little bit of salt a pinch of salt now while adding the vegetables to the pan we will add the salt no salt right now i am adding some spices like turmeric powder chili powder of course the cashews have become light brown color so after that we have to add the spices so first of all add the turmeric some chili powder coriander powder couple of teaspoon of coriander powder and some garam masala by the way this is store bought coriander powder and garam masala 
if you want me to do a video on homemade coriander powder and garam masala, please comment below. I will do a video on that. And for making the biryani, we need some caramelized onion. It will give a nice aroma. I have already shared a video on making the caramelized onion. So check it out. Click the i card on the top of the video. We need to roast the spices for a few seconds. Once that's done, I have added a medium sized tomato, finely choked tomato. We need to cook this until it becomes soft and mushy. Once it's done, we will add half cup of yogurt or curd. This is homemade yogurt. So you can see that tomatoes are soft and it's cooked well. Now getting the curd. The way this is homemade yogurt. So adding the yogurt. This will give a slight tangy flavor to our biryani. So mix it up. Put it for a few minutes. I have already pre-cooked the rice and vegetables separately. I cooked the vegetables with a little bit of salt and turmeric. A pinch of turmeric is enough to cook the vegetables. So mix the curd with the spices along with some salt. Saute it continuously for a few minutes. Yeah, mix it up. Then what we need to do is we need to add the pre-cooked vegetables. Here I'm using some carrots, green peas, beans and potato. You can add some cauliflower or if you like you can add the soya soya chunks or minced soya that's your preference so adding the pre-cooked vegetables so mix it up as we pre-cook the vegetables it will take probably about two three minutes until it's come together so mix this up check for the salt I have told you I have pre-cooked the rice. I have used basmati rice here, long grain rice. I cooked the rice with little bit of salt and a quarter teaspoon of oil. So they won't stick together. And I have drained the water. Now our masala is ready. I have just sauteed it for a few minutes until a little bit of water evaporates. So our masala is ready. I have moved it into the countertop. I have placed a new pan with a teaspoon of butter. Once the butter melts, we will add the masala. We have to start the layering. This is Hyderabadi biryani. Layering is must in this. So first we have to add about half cup of Masala to it. Spread it out evenly into the pan as much as possible. Now adding cooked rice. As I told you, this is pre cooked rice. Again, some masala or veggies. It will take few minutes. Keep the flame very low. We are going to cover this and cook this for 15-20 minutes. By the way, the rice is pre-cooked but only halfway is done. We need to cook this along with the masala and vegetables. Do the layering. In between, we have to add some fried or caramelized onion. I have already shared a video on making caramelized onion so please watch it out or click the i card on top of the screen this is the caramelized onion it will give a nice aroma to our biryani 
so again our masala some rice again masala some rice you got the idea right adding the masala so once it's done we will cover the lid we have to cover this with the lid right and we will cook this for 15 20 minutes and it will be ready our flavorful spicy tasty biryani hyderabadi vegetable biryani is ready so more caramelized onion on top if you have some coriander leaves and mint leaves you can add that that's it cover the pan with a lid and wait for 15 20 minutes and our biryani is ready just we need to serve it you can serve this with some salad or raita or any curry is there you can enjoy our biryani and that's it guys our biryani is ready just i'm going to wait for few minutes to cook our biryani if you have some coriander leaves top it up with coriander leaves and mint leaves i'm going to open the lid after 20 minutes you can see how it has become just giving a mix we usually serve like this itself we don't mix it up but just want to show you how it's look like if you want you can top it up with more caramelized onion and that's it that's our biryani please try it out and comment below how it came out if you like it please comment below don't forget to like share subscribe that's our biryani i just topped it with more caramelized onion and some more cashews so enjoy guys so take care guys bye see you next time